There's an amazing garden in Dubai where I took this photo, but look at each of these plants here. Look how well it understands. Hey, what's up everyone? In today's video, we're gonna take these single images here, some of these iconic wallpapers that Apple has given us over the years, and use their new Sharp model, their new AI ML Sharp model, to turn them into 3D Gaussian splats on our MacBooks within seconds, and then view them on our Vision Pro. It's magical, you've gotta check it out. So that's what we're gonna be doing here today. If we go to my desktop, you can see I've got this folder here called Sharp Input, and I've got all of these little images here. So I'm gonna take these images, which actually are the iconic Apple Mac wallpapers. So let's grab these. I'm gonna throw those into my Sharp Input folder. And just so you can double check me on this, like this. Here's the Big Sur image, just a single image, okay? Then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna to go to Terminal. So let's go to Terminal because this model runs locally here on your Mac and it's going to process these images within seconds and turn them into a 3D Gaussian splat. So I've got this code in here. I've got Sharp installed in my terminal. Let's just go ahead and hit enter. And now you can see that it's processing those. And I've got multiple images in that folder. And so the way that I've set this up is any image that's in this sharp input folder, it's going to process, do the inference on, and then it's gonna do the output into a PLY file. So then I could take those files and show them on my Vision Pro. And I'm gonna show you all of that here today. So you can see it's processing each of those. I'm running on the MacBook M4. Each one in my experience is taking somewhere around like four to six seconds. All right, so now it's done processing each of those images. Now if I go to my desktop and I go to the this sharp output folder, we should now see that it's converted these into these PLY files. And these are the Gaussian splats. So let's open up the Big Sur just with our preview app here. All right, check this out. Here's how Big Sur looks on the map. Again, this was created within seconds. And these look even better on the Vision Pro. All right, now I've just shared the PLY file with my Vision Pro. Now we're going to open the PLY in an app on the Vision Pro called Metal Splotter. So to do that, just make sure to download it in the App Store. But in this case, I've already downloaded it. So let's just say, hey Siri, open Metal Splatter. All right, so it's opened up this application here. Then we're just gonna do open scene file. And then let's find our file. So in this case, Big Sur. And this is the magic of the Apple Vision Pro, look at this. This is what we just created in seconds on our Mac using the new ML Sharp model. Look at this. I've actually been to Big Sur and it's incredible how well it's processed all of this. Let's move this out of the way. What the model's essentially doing is it's taking that still image, that flat image, and it's trying to understand the image and infer the depth, distance, shadows, all of that to recreate it into this 3D splat. It's amazing. Okay, so that's Big Sur. Let's check out a couple other ones here. Mojave. All right, we are inside of the sand dune here. Check that out. It's so cool. Look how well it understands depth. All right, so that's Mojave. Check this one out. This one is stunning. The reflection on the water. Turns out it's a pretty tall mountain here. All right, and here's the Catalina wallpaper. Check this out. Lake Tahoe, the wallpaper, has a splat created on my MacBook in seconds. Now that rock's not perfect, but these other ones look pretty good. I just love that I can go inside of this. Isn't it so cool? It's Apple's spatial scenes, but on steroids on the Vision Pro. Let me show you a couple other ones, and these will be ones that I've done of my own personal photos. So here's one from Scotland. This is a castle just outside of Aberdeen. Here's the perspective from where I shot it, but then look, look how well it understands topography of the ground here, each of these hills, these rocks. I could peek back behind it here, climb this if I want to, see the castle up above. It's so amazing. Let's open another one here. Let's do the Dubai Garden. This one's pretty cool. There's an amazing garden in Dubai where I took this photo, but look at each of these plants here. Look how well it understands. <laughs> 
Again, this is processed locally within seconds. Let's do this other one from Dubai from the same gardens. All right, so you can see this here, all of the flowers. And if you want to, you could actually go all the way up to the top of the tower here. Keep in mind, this is the worst it's ever going to be moving forward. It just gets better from here. But the fact that this can be done within seconds from a single image just blows my mind. It's not using some big data center to process this. It's my M4 MacBook. I'm pretty confident this will be something we'll see in Vision OS in the future, where you could take an image and then walk through the image versus just leaning into it or the side by side that we have right now with our spatial scenes. I'll make sure to include the link below for where you could access this paper from Apple to do this all for yourself. If you haven't done so already, please make sure to hit that like button and subscribe. It helps out our channel a lot. Thank you so much for watching and we'll see you on the next one.